Right, okay, hello, this is Dan here from Terry48 Leadenhall, and today we will be reviewing the A1 slash A1X last carrier, also known as Leadenhall. Um, I'll bring the box up now, here it is. Um, it's, it's a nice locomotive, um, I've used it before, anyway, here's the box. It's, um, got the photo, it's got a Hornby steam locomotive thing. Uh, Hornby on the box, aerial shot on top, and then on the side it has got the information. Number R3811LV and SCR A1 slash A1X class terrier, Len Horn number 48. DCC ready, minimum radius of 438mm curves. Um, on the bottom it has a load of warnings in different languages, it tells you it's DCC ready, it tells you it's been made in China and made by Hornby Hobbies, it gives you the Hornby website. So here it is, uh, English, Danish, Spanish, French, um, yes, I'll get it out of the box now for you. So, um, yes, it is a good locomotive it's box is kind of get difficult to get out of uh velocity ice cube packaging so it will just be the um pamphlet and the train obviously no box of box box of ice packaging so yes here we go here's the back of the pamphlet the front a one x slash a one x a one a one x slash terrier general information Maintenance information, DC ready and running in, so that stuff. Um, and then on the inside, it has um, information on how to take the body off and how to fit separate components like the brake pipes uh, and all that stuff on it. So, yeah. I'll get it out of the box now. Yes, this locomotive is definitely heavier than I expected. Um, so, yes, it's losing an end coupling because I've used this before. Um, it's heavier than I expected. I think I've already said that. Okay, hello. I'm back. Um, and this is Leadenhall. Um, his name is nicely picked out in this kind of 3D type lettering. Um, yes, um, I do like the colour of the improved engine green. Um, the number there is 48, although you can't really see it. The coupling rods are picked out in this lovely red, and the wheels are an oco, I think it's called, and the livery improved, um, improved engine green is actually very nice, although it doesn't have much green. Um, it's nice silver railing, smoke box door handle, and smoke box door hinge. It's very nice. Uh, not the red on the front. A uh, nice um, lamp irons and hose. No sprung buffers though, sadly. Um, it's got a NEM coupling, like most things these days. Uh, it's the same as the other side, apart from this donkey, donkey a pump, I think it's called. Um, the cab is very nicely picked out. Um, it was kind of hard to get an angle with. Oh, I'm trying my best. Um, yes, it's very nicely picked out. So the glazing for the windows is all just one piece, which kind of makes it look a tiny bit cheap. Yes, um, got a bit of a lump there. Um... Yes, it's such it's very nice. There's a little great handle there. Uh at a rack. It's got nice uh, realistic type looking coal. Um got nice um lamp irons and um brake pump. Again no sprung buffers sadly. Uh again missing a missing a um NEM coupling. It's got a hook for three link coupling there, and I think it did in the front, and that's the same side again. Um, yes, 
on the top. I've weathered a tiny bit, but again, it's the same ochre. Um, bits are a bit flim flimsy. Uh, it's got a nice copper capped um, <sighs> chimney there. Um, yes, uh, although it's not metal, um, it's got a nice um, white roof. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, uh, oh yeah, the running board I know for certain is metal. I, I don't know about the um, rest of it though. The running board is that little sh black strip there. So yeah, all together, um, just a very nice, well put together loco. So yeah, very, it's a very nice loco.